Good morning, friends. Today it is 23rd of September. I am Devarsh Vakil from HDFC Securities, and you are listening to Daily Morning Podcast. U.S. stocks rose Tuesday, led by jump in Amazon.com, recovering from intraday losses as the bulls appeared to overcome worries about lockdown in Europe and rising political uncertainty in U.S. On the economic front, data showed existing home sales in August rose by 2.4 percent to an annual rate of 6 million, the fastest pace in nearly 14 years. In Europe, UK Prime Minister Boris Johnson announced a new restriction that are likely to last for six months and told people to work from home if possible. Back home, in corporate news, Reliance Geo has launched new postpaid plans starting at Rs 399. If average revenue per users of the telecom sector rises, that will help the beleaguered telecom sector. The Shaporji Polonji Group, the largest minority shareholder in Tata Sons, the holding company of Tata Group, is planning a separation from the conglomerate. Blue Dat Express announced 9.6% hike in its average shipment price from January next year to offset the higher costs. Indian equity markets ended with decline for the fourth stage session yesterday in line with other Asian markets. At close, Nifty ended at 11,153 with a loss of 97 points. As expected, Nifty took support near 11,100. If Nifty bridges that level convincingly, next support comes in at 10,886 levels. There are news reports today morning that KKR may invest 5,500 crore for 1.2% stake in Reliance Retail. Reliance has the wherewithal to lift the sentiments and the markets along with it. That's all for the day. Investment in securities market is subject to market risk. Do read all the relevant documents before investing. For detailed disclaimers, do visit our website www.hdfcsec.com. Thank you for listening in. Have a profitable day ahead. Thank you.